Good morning everybody, this is Lisa from Echo Yoga. Hello and welcome to the yoga class today. We're going to have um, some fun with our stretching today. We're going to do some moving stretching. So remember, you can do this in the chair or you can do this standing, holding onto the back of a chair. The purpose for our yoga is that we adapt all our poses to suit our bodies rather than trying to make our bodies go into those perfect yoga poses. So we're going to have some fun with our moving stretches and getting our body really woken up today. And then we'll do our game and our relaxation. So enjoy and we'll make Okay then everybody, welcome to getting our bodies moving. So let's start by resting our hands on our tummies first of all. Let's take some breaths in and out. In through the nose and out through the mouth. So we're getting ourselves ready for our yoga practice today. And notice how your body is. Notice those little movements the body makes. As you breathe in. Lovely. So opening those eyes, bringing the arms to the side of the body. We're going to take a big breath in and lift our arms up and out. Take a big stretch and then bring them back down. And we're going to change this a little bit as we come back down. So breathing in, arms out nice and wide. And as we breathe out, we come back down, we're going to make a little rain. So wiggling those fingers and let's make some rain. Breathing in, lifting those arms up and wide. And then breathing out and bringing those fingers back down. Well done. So let's get a whole body moving. So let's get some walking or some marching in place. Get using our arms and our legs. So if you're cold, this is a brilliant way to warm yourself up. If you're in the chair, you can do this as well. Maybe just use your arms rather than your legs. Either way, it all works. Warm that body up. And just remember when we're all out in the park and we go for lovely long walks and we see people that we know and we give them a big wave. So let's give them all a big wave. Get those arms moving as well. And the other side. Give them all a big wave. It'd be so nice if we can get back out and see everybody again. And then we'll do, do that again. So the other side, giving them a wave. And then we're going to do the other side again as well. So both sides, keep those feet moving if you're standing. Let's come back into standing on the spot. Well done. And as always, I've got my bracelet on my left hand so you know what my left hand is doing. So let's get our arms moving. And obviously, we love these shoulder rolls. So go back and go forwards. Well done, everyone. And we're going to open our chest as well. So I'm turning around so you can see me, that you stay as, as you are. And either put your hands on the, on the chair or hold your hands behind your back. And breathe in and lift that chest up. Oh, and look up. So we're really opening that chest. And then breathing out. Let those hands go. And let's give them a, a little bit of a wiggle in front of us. So let's pretend we're, we're playing a piano. Um, moving them from side to side. So we're bringing in a bit of a twist as well. Oh, you're all doing great today. And then come back to the middle. Now this is a, an arm move that I know one of my um, class members, Alison, showed us one day when we were doing our favourite poses. And this is a swimming move. So let's see if we can get our arms moving and swimming. 
Imagine that we're in that swimming pool and we're really getting those arms moving. Whoa, well done everyone. So we're going front ways this way, back to the middle and then we're going to go back ways. So we're going to get a backstroke. Whose favourite pose is backstroke? Who likes to swim like this in the, in the swimming pool or in the sea? Back we come. Well done everyone. Okay. And then back to the middle and give those arms a really good shake. So we're going to do our stretch as well. So breathe in, lift your arms up over your head. And we're gonna, I'm gonna stretch like a banana. So we're gonna stretch one way. Back into the middle. And down the other way. Well done. And again, back up to the middle. Down to the left, if that's the way you've gone first, like me. Up to the middle. And let those arms come down and give them a shake. Well done. Now we're going to do a star movement. So you can hold onto the chair if you want to. But we're going to, I'm holding the chair with my left hand, my bracelet. We're going to take our right hand and arm out to the side and bring it in. Now you can do this, you don't need a chair. If you feel that your balance is really good, can come out and do both arms and then you can do the other way well done but if you're using a chair you'll need to change the chair over to the other side so you can do the other leg okay but if you're you don't need the chair brilliant do both sides together. And let's do those ankles. We love working on our ankles. So I'll hold, I'm going to hold onto the chair it's cause in my right hand because it's here. I'm going to put our hand on our waist. You can breathe in, pulling our waist and lift our left leg up. Do some ankle work. Now, if you don't need the chair, put both hands on your hips. Okay, and then bring that middle and then point and flex those toes. Ooh. This is really working those legs muscles, this is. Let that leg down and we'll do the other side. So I move the chair over to the other side, holding on to the chair, breathing in, pulling the tummy muscles. Bring the right leg out this time. And make some circles with those ankles. Both ways. Well done, everyone. This is tough work. And then we're going to point and flex those toes. Oh, really get them moving. Well done, once more. Bring that foot down. Brilliant, I'll give them a shake. Come on, let's give everything a shake. Let's give everything a shake. Give everything a shake. Get it all moving. Well done. So that's our stretching finished. And now let's get ready for welcome to the yoga game today. We're going to play whose favorite pose is this? Because a lot of you I know have favourite yoga poses and we normally play Simon Says where everybody picks their favourite yoga pose and we all do it but today I'm going to do a selection of poses that I know are favourite poses that you all often pick in my classes and if you don't come to one of my classes I'm going to ask you is this your favourite yoga pose so you can decide what you like and then comment in the um, channel at the end and tell me what you like so we can add them into the next classes. So let's get started with some of our standing poses. And we're going to start 
the tree pose. So you can hold on to the chair if you need to for balance, okay? Or you can hold somebody's hands, but we're going to stand on our right leg, lift the left leg up, okay? If you're holding onto the chair, with one hand, it will be lifting up your left hand because you'll be holding the chair this side. If you're balancing, lifting both arms up. Well done. I'm wobbling here, I can feel it. So whose favourite yoga pose is this? Or is this your favourite yoga pose? This is tree pose. Lifting those arms all the way back down. And then let's give the other side a go as well. So stand on our left leg this time, holding onto the chair. Right leg up. And breathing in. So we always do both sides. Breathing out, holding those arms there. Well done, everyone. Okay, so our second pose. This is Warrior Two, often called our surfing pose. So for Warrior Two, we stand top of the mat, and then we step a foot back. So nice and long and nice and wide. So we've got a nice wide position on the mat. And we hold our arms out. So look over that. So we've got our left hand here with our bent knees so on the left hand, and we're looking over that left hand. And whose yoga favourite yoga pose is this? Is this yours? Is this your favourite yoga pose? Because we can pretend that we're surfing in the sea. Nice and cool with a breeze on the beach. Lovely. And then let those arms come down. Look your feet in. And obviously, we always do the other side. So this time our right foot is at the front, our left foot is at the back. And our left foot is along the short side of the mat. So I'll bend that front knee, and bring those arms out. One at the front, one at the back. So looking over the right hand this time, Surfing. Oh, we all wish, hey, on the beach. And then relax. Bring those arms down. And bring those feet together. Well done. Now I'm going to use the chair this time for our next pose. Because this pose is warrior three. And warrior three is a balance, or we often call it aeroplane pose. So I'm gonna stand on my left leg, okay, my left leg. I'm gonna hold onto the chair, breathe in, and lift my right leg up. Now if you want to, you can take your arms out to the side like aeroplane wings because that's what makes it, gives it its name. Or hold on and just take one arm out. It's whatever is right for you. Bring that arm back, bring that leg down. Well done. So we'll do the other side. So this time, the left leg goes out. And we hold onto the chair. Well done, everyone. Again, let go. Oops, I'm balanced, I'm wobbling today. Or you can just let one arm go. It's entirely up to you. Now bring that arm back and bring that foot down. Well done. So, can you remember whose favourite yoga pose is that? Or is that one of your favourite yoga poses? Have a think. We're going to give a couple more a go as well. We're going to stretch our backs now and come and touch our toes. And I know this is a, a real favourite of one of the people in my class. So we're going to bend our knees, okay? I'm just finding the right position for you so you can see. Bend your knees. Breathe in, lift your arms up. And come forward and touch your toes. Now, if you 
in the chair, you can widen your legs a little, take those knees a little bit wide and come forward and touch your toes. Breathing in, bend those knees. I'm going to come all the way back up. And hands, heart centre. Well done, everyone. So whose favourite yoga pose is that? Can you remember? Or is that one that you like the best? Have a think. And we'll come down onto the mat. So I've got a few favourite yoga poses for people sitting on the floor. So we come onto the floor, first of all. And the first one that we're going to do is Cobra Pose, or its proper name is Bhujangasana, which is a bit of a long name. But we lie on our tummies for Cobra Pose. I put our hands by our shoulders and breathe in and push up. Bend those arms, just gently push up, stretching our backs and our tummies. Well done, everyone. And then come down. Oops, I've got a cat. Hi, Yola. Want to bark cat tail in my face? Hello, lovely. Can you move? Thank you. And I'll bring myself back down. Okay, so another one that I know everybody likes, lying on the floor, so we still stay here, is called... Superman. And you can do this sitting on the chair by lifting your legs and your arms at the same time. But if you're on the floor, hands out in front, feet stretched out the back, and we're going to breathe in. And on the count of three, we're going to lift our arms, our legs up, and shout Superman. So on three, one, two, three, Superman! Well done everyone, brilliant work. So let's come and sit up, so roll yourselves onto the side. So that you are sitting up. And then we're going to finish with two more standing poses before we come into relaxation. So I'm going to stand up nice and tall. And bring this chair in. So whose favourite yoga pose is Cobra? And whose favourite yoga pose is Superman? Now I know one person who likes both of those poses, but maybe they're your favourite pose. So let me know, put a message in the comments and let me know. So we're going to do another favourite yoga pose of somebody in my class. And they've invented this one, and they like to hop. So give it a go. If you need to hold on to a chair to help you, that's great. We'll do a couple one side, and then the other. If you're in the chair, lift up one leg and lift up the other. You don't have to hop. It's all about getting that movement. Lovely. So. Whose favourite yoga pose is hopping? And is it yours? Oh, give it a think. So the next one we're going to do is down dog. Now, I'll show you. Hold the chair first of all, okay? So, for those who don't want to come onto the floor, hold the back of a chair and push through your shoulders, take your little feet a little bit wide, really stretching the back and stretching the legs. Well done. And if you're sitting on the chair, put your hands on your knees and push up. That's what you need to do, really push up. But for those who want to come onto the floor, come onto the floor, Onto your hands and knees, and then we'll push our bottom into the air and do that triangle pose. 
So hands on the floor. Bend. Tuck your toes under. Okay. Nice and strong. Pull in your tummy muscles. Breathe in and push your bum in the air. Whoa. Let's get those bums in the air. Let's get that triangle. And then come back down. And do that once more. Breathe in, pull in the tummy and push up bum in the air. Whoa. And then come back down. Well done. So, whose favourite yoga pose is down dog? Or is that your favourite yoga pose? They're all different, they're all fun, and they're all challenging. So let me know which one you like the best. So now we're going to come into our relaxation. So make yourselves all comfortable wherever you are, whether you want to lie on the mat or on the floor, on the sofa, on a chair. But find yourself a little eye pillow or something to cover your eyes. Wrap yourselves up in a blanket to keep yourselves warm. If you need to put your socks on to keep your toes warm. Just get yourselves lovely and comfortable and cosy so that you can enjoy the relaxation. If you need to pause the video while you go and get the things for the relaxation, then pause it and then restart. So now we're all lovely and comfortable. Take time to get your body in the right position for you, where you're all comfortable and cosy and warm. Just take some big breaths in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose and then out through the mouth. And take time to notice how the body feels, how your body feels supported by whatever you're lying on. And remember that you're all safe and cosy and warm. So you don't have to worry about anything. This is time to relax and time to forget about everything else that's going on. And today, in our relaxation, we're going to have a little trip to the countryside. And we're going to see all the fields in the countryside, all different colours of green, dark greens, bright greens, light greens, and some even look a little yellow because of all the different things the farmers are all growing in those fields. And we can feel the breeze as we're walking through the lanes in the countryside. And maybe some of the the lanes are a little shaded with all the trees and we can see the patterns and the shadows of the leaves as the sunlight shines through the tops of the trees above us. And sometimes the leaves look as though they're dancing in front of us or they're moving really quickly because the wind and the breeze are just blowing them gently. We can hear the leaves rustling in the breeze. And in one of the trees nearby, we can hear some birds singing and tweeting. And we notice that there's a little bird's nest with some newly born baby birds tweeting away in and safely in the nest waiting for Mum and Dad to come back and 
give them some food. And we listen to the noise of the cheeping, tweeting of those little birds. Which is a lovely sound because we don't get to hear it very often. And then mum and dad come back with the food for those little birds and they all start to quieten down, go to sleep. They've had a lovely lunch. And we can move along the lanes, we relax, enjoying that gentle relaxing and being somewhere where we're safe, it's quiet and everything is calm. And as we come to the end of our walk, we start to notice that the, the trees get thinner and lighter and we're coming back out into the open and we can see all those big fields again out in the countryside. So as we start to wake up, start to take a big breath in and a big breath out. We wriggle our fingers and our toes, start to wake up, have a big stretch if you need a big scratch, and then come up, roll onto your side, and when you're ready, come up and sit up in a seated position. So I hope you enjoyed the yoga class today, thank you for joining me. And we all finish class by saying thank you for practicing yoga together. Hands to heart centre. Namaste. Thank you.